Hi everyone, it's me, Oberon, for TFT Tarot for Today, and it's Goth Tarot Night Prayers. I'm here to tuck you in with a little shadow worker meditation or affirmation. We can call it a night prayer if we wish, but that's probably really more accurate. And of course, I work from two sources most of the time. Those are the Dark Light Oracle and the Earth and Bone Oracle. They're both very positive-minded, despite their, you know, dark trappings, uh, affirmation, shadow work kind of stuff that I really like using. So we're going to get started with the Dark Light Oracle. <clears throat> And I just shuffle and draw one at randomly. And of course, if you watched Goth Tarot this morning or at any point in time, you realize that there's some interesting stuff going on. And I'm not going to recap it too much, but I would just mention that <clears throat> um, there's a bit of um, consternation possibly going on with some of us where strong forces are trying to overwhelm. Isn't that always the case, right? <laughs> At any rate, <clears throat> here is our shadow work opening affirmation. Spring, how nice, how nice since we just did hit spring. Lovely card. Spring, number 11. I like that synergy. Everything that blossoms. I am the spring fairy. I slept all winter, but now I am wide awake and eager to have everything blossoming around me. I want green leaves, strong trees, and colorful flowers. I want sparkling juice to nourish my projects. What about you? What is your new project? What are you about to start? Gather your will and enthusiasm and begin the adventure. I want you to be dynamic, active, young at heart, confident. I want spring to flower in your mind. Help your ideas to grow by putting all your energy into the service of your dream. Spread your wings and fly high in the blue spring sky. I will watch over you and make sure that your project develops like a powerful tree. Affirmation. Oops, too far. Affirmation. I am starting something new with enthusiasm and confidence. I believe in my project and I will do whatever it takes to make it blossom. All right. I like that because it's a synergy, you know, we just passed the spring equinox and um, to reflect on the, the tarot reading from earlier today, it does seem like maybe some of us will be in a position of having to um, move along. <clears throat> I see forces that maybe are, are forcing us to, to move some, some of our comfort zones. So I want us to take this idea of being able to manifest something new with us as we move forward, possibly into a little bit of uncertainty. All right, so for the closing shadow work and affirmation, as mentioned, I will use the Earth and Bone Oracle set. So let's do that right now, and we are done. Uncle Obi will have tucked you in, given you something to dream about, like the card Spring said, you know, a good dream, not a nightmare. All right. So relax and listen to my voice. <clears throat> I 
How nice. Burrow. <clears throat> That's number twenty five. Exhaustion and lack of energy. Questioning motivations, realignment. <clears throat> Your soul has had a growth spurt. Tremendous change and transformation is upon you. And within your inner knowing, regardless if you are conscious or subconscious of this change, you may be tired because your soul is trying to match your energetic vibration of a new reality. It is trying to align you with who you are on a deeper, soulful level. In being out of alignment, there is a need to match your inner self to your physical self, which is like playing catch-up, and it's leaving you exhausted. <clears throat> do not fret. There are things you can do to strengthen your connection with yourself and receive from the universe. Practice meditation so that you may commune and meet with your true self in order to see what it is you are truly, you, what it is you truly desire. <clears throat> Open yourself up and practice vulnerability. Do not push shame aside. Embrace the feelings that may be uncomfortable and do whatever it is that your soul begs you to pursue. In regards to people you who may criticize you while you embrace your authenticity and vulnerability, remember their feedback is invalid if they are not the ones stepping up to the plate or fall, facing off in the arena. And you know, that is a sort of a sense from the card reading earlier today too, the opposition stuff. Faith and vulnerability brings you closer to your higher self and who you are destined to be. Embrace your past feelings and memories that make you uncomfortable and learn to heal them. Think of what makes you feel suppressed and acknowledge it, but never let it control your path or direction. Listen to your heart and create stillness to hear it. Spend time in nature and connect with its flow of energetic healing. Affirmation. I do not give consent to the consumption of my energy. I call back all of my energy that serves my greatest good. All right, everybody. I think we'll just leave it at that. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week. I hope whatever resonates with you from the night prayers you can take with you, move forward, affirm goodness, and affirm your personal inner quest and strength to get there. Namaste.